ladies and gentlemen we have some big changes coming soon to rise of kingdom so today we're going to go over all of the news all of which was shared on the official rise of kingdoms social media accounts yesterday and as you guys might know i've been on vacation for the past week so all these videos that you've seen over the past week have been pre-recorded i got home last night at 11 p.m and so today we're going to cover everything but first what's going on guys cheers yes yes sir yes sir hey let's go all right so let's just jump right in here the information that we're going to be covering was shared on the official rise of kingdoms instagram account it was not on their twitter which is very weird typically you see the information homogenous across all their accounts so if they're watching this you forgot to put it on twitter but what they announced here was a sixth anniversary live stream over on their youtube channel on september 15th at 15 utc now i don't have any insider knowledge or anything like that but i'm predicting that we'll probably get some really interesting information at some point during that live stream so I'm excited to check it out and also you guys should tune in because they're giving away 360,000 total gems and three lucky governors are going to get 60,000 gems each they're also going to be giving out exclusive rock merchandise like the Artemisia body pillow Lilith why have you not sent me you got my address like just you know I mean like I'll pay you I'll I'll give you the money for it I don't even need it for free I don't anyway you should tune into the live stream okay but that's not what we're going to be talking about today today we're going to be talking about some of the things they announced for this anniversary and might I just add they sure are using Artemisia a lot in these uh promotional images lately am I right maybe I'm going crazy I don't know but the first thing that they announced here and this is something that I feel like a lot of people haven't talked on they gave us an update to the performance of of rise of kingdoms as you guys know they recently revealed over the past couple of months that rise of kingdoms is getting a graphical upgrade they are calling it rise of kingdoms remastered and honestly i thought the game looked gorgeous when they first revealed it since then they've made some improvements toned down the greens and the community has been asking me on where where's this new graphical update like why isn't it here yet and the answer is that they're still tweaking it to make it look as best as possible but also they want to make sure that it performs well and here we actually have an update now this says it is a test device for a mid to low end Android device. Okay. And the reason that they're making this very clear is because the new graphics already performed well on up to date iOS devices. I have an iPhone. Uh, this is a 15 pro max. It worked flawlessly for me during KVK and my most recent KVK. We did the remastered graphics. It was fine. That was my experience. I also played on the PC version. I thought the PC version worked perfectly fine. I had no major issues. I talked about that in my KVK recap video. Go ahead and watch that video. If you want to see all my thoughts on that. However, the mid to low end Android devices and probably mid to low end uh, iOS devices, some of the older devices, maybe iPhone 7, iPhone 8, things like that. Those players seem to be struggling a little bit. And here we have an update here. We have a 46% increase in average frame rate for these devices and a 50% large scale battle lag optimization. So just to be clear, they're saying that large scale battle lag has gone down by 50% percent that's a massive claim that's a really big improvement and i'm looking forward to seeing how this actually works on those older devices moving on to the next thing they revealed they actually finally finally gave us the information for the two new archer legendary commanders we have i'm gonna hopefully hopefully you don't roast me in the comments okay i'm probably gonna mispronounce this but we have cho young okay this is the archer garrison and defense commander i suspect this will be the mightiest governor commander and i gotta say i actually love this design i think he looks like an old giga chad grandpa like i feel like he looks like an absolute legend why are you retreating like this is he seems like a giga chad i love the design love the build he actually has legs here which is awesome so that's great to see doing a quick wikipedia search it says that he became a national hero after he put down Cho E Sin's rebellion. He also participated in the Red Turban rebellions and later allied with the Ming dynasty to overthrow the Mongol Yuan dynasty. In his final years, he was betrayed and executed by his former subordinate Yi Song Ye. Very crazy stuff here, guys. Very, very interesting character to be adding to Rise of Kingdoms. So of course, as I said, uh, when we actually first saw his silhouette, it felt like it would be a Korean commander. It turns out that it is is a Korean commander we don't have that many Korean commanders in the game and so it is very exciting at least for me I'm happy to see this and I'm sure the Koreans will appreciate more representation in the game the second commander that was revealed was Shajar Alder and again 
sorry for the mispronunciation there I'm sure I butchered that but this is apparently going to be the open field commander this is actually kind of exciting I feel like we don't have that many female open field commanders right if we think about all the female commanders in the game right now Gorgo is a garrison commander we think about Zenobia that's a garrison commander we have Ethel Flat. I guess she's open field these days the main one you see is Joan of Arc Prime which is great we have Boudicca Prime but she's kind of on the bench these days so hopefully she is a Giga Chad that sticks around for a while once again taking a quick look at Wikipedia she was a ruler of Egypt she was the wife of As Saleh Ayub sorry about that horrible pronunciation the first Sultan of the Mamluk Bauri dynasty she used to be a child slave okay wow that's insane so here we have another Egyptian commander coming to the game very exciting stuff for those of you that missed some of the initial content around these commanders these are the two new archer commanders that will be dealing true damage and have mighty healing we've talked about mighty healing in the past on this channel I've covered it in detail I believe with the help of speco we have uncovered what is most likely the most accurate formula for mighty healing and it should be very strong they did not reveal the numbers for these commanders I suspect that we will get these numbers either this weekend so like on the 14th or 15th and we have that live stream on the 15th right so maybe we'll see those numbers at the live stream who knows but for right now at least we know who they are which is very cool moving on we have a key story for 2024 this is most likely going to be a new kvk format that's what I'm assuming this is going to be they did not say that but I mean here we see I guess this looks like this is Bjorn it also this looks like Bjorn and it looks like Ethelflaed now here's the thing about this picture right and I might be reading too much into this and I fully admit that I could be completely reading too much into this but we see ethel fled in front of a castle here and how do you get ethel fled you get her from the expedition and that castle looks awfully similar to that castle at least to me right i mean it's kind of the same sort of spires around there and for the longest time we've had these dots leading up to that castle and it's always kind of been like this was supposed to be the end of the expedition i suspect right like we've got the dots going there we don't actually go there there's no missions there but could it be the case that we will finally get from 80 to 90 in the expedition as part of the 2024 story again the reason that I'm saying this is because first of all that castle looks the same as that castle also we've got also Ethel flood here is it possible that we will get some more actual story in the form of expedition I'm not holding my breath I don't think that you know it, it could happen who knows there's definitely some similarities here but it's been a long time we haven't seen any updates to expedition could this finally be it maybe they will be remastered expedition levels where they have the new graphics who knows but I'm excited to see whatever this might be I think it is most likely to be a kvk story but maybe we'll finally see some changes to expedition moving on to the next thing and this was huge I was so excited about this guys I cannot explain to you enough how excited I was when I saw this this was probably one of my favorite things that they revealed here was a new roguelike gameplay so if you guys don't know what a roguelike type of game is I would point you towards something like vampire survivors or halls of torment right these are games where you control a character in a map and you have waves of enemies coming to attack you and as you kill these enemies you collect some sort of crystal or energy or something like that and it boosts your level of your character and every new level you get a choice of basically randomly generated skills right which I think is very very cool and essentially you will try to go as far as you can in these levels and as you reach certain milestones you might unlock certain prizes and I have been asking for game modes like this for at least probably the last six to 12 months in rise of kingdoms i want to see new types of gameplay in rise of kingdoms and here it looks like they've been testing this out for a while because this is still the old graphics so once you reach a new level you'll have to pick between these three obviously the purple one is going to be uh the most rare of the three um probably the strongest but it'll have to depend on what other types of power-ups you've already gotten in the past and so I'm really excited for this um hopefully it's a fun sort of single player type of thing although it looks to be multiplayer but maybe you can have multiple armies not really sure how that's going to go I'm very excited to see what the future of this game mode actually holds hopefully it's not a Champions of Olympia and it's actually fun and not too time consuming and not too clunky I am very happy to see what the future is for this next they showed off the anniversary event and it looks like we're going to be getting a legendary commander as part of this event now if you guys remember last year we got our hands on Liu Che right everyone was able to get Liu Che for free it was at least just an unlock which was nice 
here they show off huo which is odd um I, I don't see why we would get huo for free he's been in the game for a while i hope that they would give us a choice between some different commanders and not only huo it would be very weird to only get huo and if you already have an expertise do you get something else can you get universals can you get gems as a, as a reward i don't know uh, but it seems like we'll have that plus the opportunity to get uh, over 100 legendary commander sculptures now some of this i'm sure will be available free to play some of it might be part of like you know special items that you need to exchange in a shop or something like that like we've got the anniversary shop right here so it might be hard to get over 100 sculptures as free to play but players will have the ability to work on that and over 16,000 gems which is very exciting stuff here we see circus of wonders we see sign and spoil so basically logging in every day the rock yearbook is always exciting to see what you've done in the past year there's other events and desert tracks actually um now that I look at it this was an event that was very popular very profitable in terms of getting a ton of different sculptures and things like that I will probably be participating in desert tracks as long as it is similar to how it was last time because I got a lot of value there although if I remember correctly you have to choose a commander and there's not anything I have to really expertise right now so we'll actually have to wait and see if they've changed anything there additionally they've redesigned the Ark of Osiris map I think that the spawn point looks much better this looks like some sort of like Egyptian Colosseum type of thing which is very epic and I'm very happy to see that they have been working on making the Ark map look much better and look more in line with you know the graphical upgrade that is coming to rise of kingdoms it looks very gorgeous it has to play as well as as the current map does right because arc is a bit more of a competitive game mode than just home kingdom graphics right so very excited to see that also it looks like we have the the leaders will be up front here the top three so that's very cool i like that a lot too now here's where we have some contentious debates okay we see that they are remastering the older commanders and giving them a fresh coat of paint now they did reveal that they were doing this already they said that they were working on this in the past and it's been very mixed i would say lots of people seem to be relatively negative about this um i gotta be honest with you guys i don't love the new designs there are some that are okay we'll go over that in just a second i feel like ethelfled was okay they made the sort of coyote or fox whatever this is on her shoulder it looks like it has less fur detail which is a bit odd um her face looks like it has more makeup her eyes are bigger uh I don't know what it is maybe it's the change to the nose or something like that or how her face just looks very full with features it's a bit odd I don't know what it is I can't put my finger on it maybe it does look a bit more cartoony it looks a little bit more like brave it looks a little bit more like you know Disney Pixar type of thing um I don't hate it and I'm willing to admit that there is probably some sort of bias that I have here for the original design she had high heels which is something to, to worth worth noting she's more of sort of a ranger now uh which I think is probably a bit more accurate historically but I've been looking at Ethel Fled for years and so I think that I am partial to liking how she used to look and so it's hard for me to say objectively that the new one is quote unquote bad or worse I don't think it's quote unquote bad or worse it's definitely different it's definitely a change you can still tell that it's Ethel Fled uh so it's hard for me to say I think I prefer the old one I don't know why it could be because I'm just used to seeing it that's just me um it's very important to understand your biases you know when you're looking at these things understand that like if you've looked at this commander for six years your your automatic your gut reaction is going to be to not like whatever the new thing is that being said there's something about it that seems a bit off I like the colors are more bright I'm very happy about that I like the vibrant colors as you guys know it also looks like they've, they've changed the background here and I mean the background before was fine I actually like that there's some you see how there's like a sort of blurry backdrop and then there's like the dogs fighting over here there's some bushes there's another like building here this is more sort of in the foreground even though it's still behind ethel fled we don't really see that in the new one and so it kind of makes it feel empty and so maybe they're not done like maybe they're not done working on the background and they just wanted to show us right away um which is fine but I do hope that they return some of those sort of backdrop elements because I think that's I don't know it just feels empty back there moving on to Minamoto I don't I I think this is better than Ethel fled um I don't love that they changed the tips of his helmet here 
I like the spiky sort of tips on on the older one here um other than that it's honestly very similar his face looks longer which is a bit weird when I look kind of look closer into it he looks a bit it looks a bit longer so I don't know if I love that but at the end of the day um I think it's I think it's fine I would be I would accept that as my new Minamoto uh, moving on we have Richard hasn't changed much they changed the color of his axe here they gave a little bit more detail as you can see here on like the gloves they added some more accents here they made the knuckles of the gloves a little bit more complex there's some shine to the back of the shield here you can see where the the leather strap is bolted in which is kind of cool so there's a little bit more detail here and I like that what did they do to his face is his head smaller it doesn't look smaller maybe the crown is slightly smaller something is odd about this and again I actually think it's a similar problem that we have with Ethelflaed in that it seems like the face is too full there's like there's there's not enough space on the face it, it, I, I can't really put my finger on it it seems like they changed the nose and the eyes I don't know what it is the face is just off so again this could just be the case of me being biased seeing this old one for six years preferring this truthfully I don't really it's not that big of a difference to me I I gotta see it in game it's too hard to tell from these screenshots honestly what this is really going to look like so that's that moving on to Alex um uh, this might be a controversial opinion I like the new Alex better I think the old Alex is kind of just standing there very boxy the new Alex chest out literal Giga Chad love this stance power pose looking down on you okay love the new Alex I think they nailed the new Alex design in my opinion I know some people are not happy about that I love the new Alex and again I'm not afraid to tell you guys how I actually feel about this okay it's not because I'm sponsored all right I already said that the Richard looks a little weird the Ethel Flood looks a little weird there's some things that I don't love about Minamoto although it, although it's fine the Alex I think is great I think they did a great job with Alex better pose more formidable but really they didn't change that much right um I think they <laughs> ironically enough I think they actually lost some of the luster on the gold I think the gold looks more shiny in the old one than it does on the new one this looks more like a sort of matte gold whereas this is a reflective gold so I guess you could make the argument that like this little badge here on his cape you could make the argument that there's a little bit of less less shine less detail there I could see that but overall like holding the shield up his I don't know I like his stance I like his pose I like how he is very formidable looking I think the jawline makes a lot more sense here at that angle here it just looks like he has a wide head here it's like a very chiseled you know actual Giga Chad so I like the change I prefer the new Alexander the Great that's awesome the other ones maybe they will grow on me or maybe there is something a little bit off about them that I can't really put my finger on but it is what it is this is a sneak peek to the new redesigned commanders and UI which is user interface so they actually might be changing the interface of where the skills are located and where the you know talents are located on the page so keep that in mind there could be even more changes here which is very exciting anyway guys that's everything that has sort of been hinted at ahead of the actual live stream on September 15th once again definitely tune in to that live stream you'll have a chance to win some awesome things both in game and in real life and hopefully we'll actually get some more information about the two new commanders coming to rise of kingdoms I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below about all of these changes coming to the game let me know what you think about the remasters of the older commanders as well I know a lot of people have been talking about that let me know what you think down in the comment section below while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel it's on it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and once again I am back from vacation now today I'm recording this on September 11th never forget by the way I live in New York City so I'm I'm, I'm hyper aware of all that tomorrow is September 12th which is my birthday and so I probably won't have a video tomorrow which also means I will probably be doing some things this weekend I know I have at least one thing planned on Saturday so I don't know when the next video will be probably on the 13th or something like that and then later this month uh, I'm actually moving to a new apartment so lots going on for me right now so if the videos seem slightly more delayed than usual that's why I was away for a week I also just had a million things going on so I'm doing my best to bring you the content as soon as possible so just hang in with me for a little bit longer while I sort out everything else that is going on outside of YouTube but either way I am back from vacation so I'm very excited to bring more content anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace